Hey guys and gals, this is Nathan. Welcome to another episode of Brush Spotlight. I guess this is episode five. I think it's it's been over a year since I did a Brush Spotlight. Um, and you guys have been asking me forever about like my uh, sponge brush. It's this um, dry block brush that I have. Let me put a new layer on so I can kind of show you. Um, let's fill that. So this guy here, so uh, so I had this template page, this is what the brush I was using to, to color all this stuff, the backgrounds and even the people as well, that you've seen uh, these pages here that you see me working on uh, for template AV on the Let's Color series. But first, I want you guys to listen, hold on. You hear that? Oh, not that. That's only Skype. There's no... Uh, the fire alarm's fixed, finally. Um, thanks to a good tip from one, one of my viewers. Uh, posted up, I guess I had to not only change the battery, but I had to reset it and then put the battery back in. So it's working. No more squeaky basketball players in the background or whatever everybody else thought it was. But uh, you'll notice it. Uh, cause I, I do have some other stuff that's pre-recorded. The uh, next batch of uh, Let's Color stuff. So you'll, you'll still hear it in those, but... New tutorials and stuff like that, you won't hear it anymore. So that's awesome. It's nice and quiet. Well, until the uh, AC kicks on over my head. But all right, let's get on with this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to have the link for these brushes. Uh, or It's a couple different sponge brushes. I'll put the link in the description, but I got them from, I was able to track it down. It took me a while. It's from the Photoshop Guru uh, on uh, DeviantArt. And I'll put a link to uh, their uh, their DeviantArt page in the description, so you can check it out. Um, the one you're looking for is called. Uh, I'll just bring this over here. It's a uh, ten sponge brushes 001 f Photoshop Island dot abr. Again, I'll, I'll put the link right to it in the description. Uh, so we'll go ahead and download that, right? And so I have my main window on another. Uh, another monitor that I'm not recording right now, so I'm going to bring this over. Uh, usually what I'll do, just to keep everything in place, and get my f apps. Yes, I know I have too many versions of Photoshop on here, just haven't gotten around to cleaning it up. Uh, you go to plugins, uh, not plugins, sorry, presets, and then brushes. And brushes I download so they don't get lost most of the time. I'll put them in here. They're where they're at. I, know, I know where they're at. and. Um, in case I need to upgrade to another version of Photoshop, I can grab all my brushes that I have. But uh, here's the ones right here. These top, this top one, 10 sponge brushes, 001. So we know where that's at. So let's go to our, we hit B for brushes. So that'll activate our brush presets uh, palette. And we'll go to load brushes. And we'll find that, that guy again. Uh, again, you'll navigate to it. Uh, with your Mac or PC. If you go to your applications, Photoshop, presets, brushes, and it should be in there. Or if you just want to save a folder on your desktop, you would take that route instead. Uh, but we'll go ahead and hit open, and that'll load those brushes down here at the bottom. Now a lot of these brushes, they're really high res, so most of them, yeah, they're all over 2400 pixels, so they're pretty sizable. Uh, let me get rid of this. Don't save that. I'll do uh, 8 by 11, 300. That's fine. For our purposes, I'll start a new layer so I can go through these quickly. Um, see, brush. That's way too big. So let me put that down. So you can see it's just a, a solid brush. So right now, nothing really to write home about, nothing really ready to use, but I do like them as a really good uh, starting off point. What size is that? About 500? Oh, there, I can just remember that for these other ones. Yeah, that's good. So you get some, like some uh, some really nice textures on some of these guys. 
Then other ones like that's kind of big and blocky. You know, I really wouldn't use that one too much. But uh, let's see, which one was this one? This first one here? I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it's this guy. So the one that's uh, 2,488 pixels. This guy right here, this first one. I think that's the one that we'll uh, we'll use because uh, I mean these might work for the artist, um, you know, as is. But I always like to tweak the brushes a little bit more and like how uh, how I would like to use them. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, clear that out. Let's go to brushes. Let's add some. Let's see some shape dynamics to it. Um, do like some angle jitter. So you see like uh, down here at the bottom, it's going to make a turn just a little bit each time we uh, we tap down. Um, let's do that a little bit more angle jitter, I guess. Yeah. And that's not a mouse. It's me actually clicking on on my uh, Cintiq screen. I get I get that a lot as well. It's like no, I don't I don't color with the mouse. I know. People that do, but I don't understand how. It's pretty crazy. So with the dual brush, you can see down here in the preview, it goes from this to this, and that's like, okay. Now we get some nice variations, a little something we can work with. All right, and let's see, we turn the transfer on. It's gonna taper it at the edges. And then we want the smoothing on as well. See, I think we could play with this a little bit more. This is all up to you know personal uh, preference. See, dual brush, spacing. Yeah, there we go. See, here's too just too much uh, spaced out, so you want a little bit tighter bunch. I like that scatter in there too. Looks pretty cool. I always recommend like just uh, playing around with your brushes. Oh yeah, I like that effect. So you can see now I can, you know, put down some color, and then uh, you know drop a little bit more on top of it. And the more the harder you apply the pressure, the darker it's going to be on it. And of course, the more you, you go over that one spot, it's going to add more color to it. But um, yeah, that's basically how I went about getting my brush. But yeah, play around with it. Uh, try out those other brushes as well. You might like those guys too. Um, this one I, I like. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So let's go ahead and we'll go up here. These are my tool, my brush uh, presets. So I do new tool preset. And what's that other one called? Uh, dry block. I'm gonna call that two. Let's see how this compared to each other. If I go light, I get like a nice little look from it. But then if I click, just click. Like you'd use like a sponge brush while painting, you know. It might be a little bit too big. I like the, the size of that other one, but Yep, I like it. So yeah, there you go. Uh, again, I'll put all the, the links in the uh, descriptions and stuff like that and uh, yeah, I highly recommend going through the different ones and, and messing around with your with your brush settings, you know, see what works for you. Um, it's all about experimentation. What works for one person won't necessarily work for the next. So I uh, hope you guys like the video. Um, should have some more tutorials coming up for you guys. And thanks a lot for watching. All the new subscribers, I really appreciate it. Uh, helps me out, uh, especially hit the likes. You guys got comments, questions. I'm always around to answer them. You could... Uh, you know, post them up here in the comments, or you could uh, message me on DeviantArt. It's lemmage.deviantart.com. I also have a Facebook fan page. It's a... Uh, goodness, I always forget what it is. Lemmage1. It's the number one. Uh, I think it's facebook.com slash lemmage1. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll put all those links in the descriptions as well. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.